Predict which position of the naphthalene compound below is the most reactive with the electrophiles in electrophilic aromatic substitution. So what we have here is we have two benzene rings attached to another in a molecule that's called naphthalene. And now one of the benzene rings on the right has two substituents, OH and CH3, and the other does not. First, we have to determine which ring should I attach my next, which my next substituent, my next group to, which ring is more reactive. And I do that by looking at the groups that are attached to each ring. So let's call this uh, benzene ring A and let's call this benzene ring B. So in benzene ring A on the left, what is it attached to? Well, it's attached to basically here, a carbon and here a carbon. So benzene ring A is attached to two carbons which are considered R groups. So it has two R groups on it. Benzene ring B is attached the same way to two carbons. So it also has two R groups attached to that, to it. So, uh, so far they're equal, they're the same. They're both attached to basically two carbons on each side so uh, we can distinguish yet. Now, benzene ring on the right is also attached to the OH and to the CH3 group. So what we will have to do is we will have to look at the chart that I'm giving you here and figure out, are these groups making the benzene ring more reactive or less reactive? In the chart, we have a division between activators, groups that make benzene ring more reactive, and deactivators, group that make the benzene ring less reactive. So let's go ahead, find the groups, and see if they're activators or deactivators. OH is here, and it is an activator. CH3 is, he, is here, it's an R group. So R group is any hydrocarbon chain, methyl, ethyl, propyl, etc. So it's also an activator. So now, if we look at the left ring or the right ring, we will say the right ring wins. It's more reactive because it has two activating groups that uh, the left ring does not have. So we will focus on the right ring, eliminating choices A and B because they're on the left ring. We do not have to pay attention to them anymore. Now, are we going to go with C or D? So between these two groups, we can look at the chart and we can see that while alcohol is a strong activator, methyl will be a weak activator. So alcohol will win. So if you have multiple groups on your benzene ring, the group that will dictate where the next group will attach to is the one that is most activating, the strongest activator. And in this case, it's going to be the alcohol. So this one is a winner. Now. This chart also tells us whether our groups are ortho, para, or meta directing. And uh, OH, you can see, is an ortho, para directing group. Now, what are the ortho and para positions? Ortho position is the position next to the next to the group that you have. So this one, this one. So we don't have to pay attention to methyl anymore. And the position that's ortho is this position. So that's probably the answer. Now, why is it not para? Para is position opposite of the group. This position is already taken by something. You can't attach anything there because, it, because the other benzene ring was attached to it. So only ortho position um, is available, and that will be our answer for this question. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.